Hi friends, hope everyone is fine. In this video, we are going to see how to enable legacy boot. Legacy boot in the Asus Prime EZ series motherboard. Actually, I have a EZ series motherboard. Maybe it is up available for all the Asus type motherboards. Okay, here we can see in the boot options, boot priority only the UEFI devices we can able to see actually it is connected with the two hard drives uh, intel and a toshiba only the uefi boot devices we can able to see so here i am going to show you how to enable the legacy boot it is little little bit tricky in the asus type motherboard so here we have an option let's see okay let's see the boot menu or okay advanced mode I'm going to the advanced mode here a lot of components are available actually I'm going for the required one here we can go for the boot options and in the boot configuration actually if we go for the boot configuration in normal other boards we can do that thing gigabyte or whatever it is in we go for the boot configuration we can change whatever it is required but in Asus type motherboard we need to select the compatibility support module this one must be enabled then only we can enable the legacy boot so by default it is disabled here i am going to enable the compatibility support module i'm going to enable that thing wow now i can able to see the boot devices control it is uefi only boot from network devices ignore boot from storage devices uefi only boot from pcie pci expansion devices ignore so first i am going to select change the boot device control that is uefi only to only uefi no i want both uefi and legacy so i select the option uefi and legacy boot device control so both the uefi storage and the legacy options is available then boot from the network devices ignore okay i am not going to use any network devices boot so i am ignoring now if you want to select from the uh, your uh, network boot then you can select uefi maybe nowadays windows 10 OS and server OS comes in the UEFI. If you have the UEFI mode, then you can select the UEFI. Boot from the storage devices. Actually, that one I record. Maybe it, if I am going to boot from the pen drive or CD drive, then I need the UEFI boot. So here I am selecting the UEFI only. I need the UEFI. If you want legacy only, then that also you can enter. That's not a problem. Boot from the PCI. PCI card I am I didn't use any PCI Express maybe if you are using you can select UEFI or legacy options so these are the changes I made actually I enter into the boot option for Asus enter into the boot option we can click the F2 button F2 or delete key we will get a main screen from there we need to go to the advanced options a, a GUI good GUI is available click on the advanced option then I enter into the boot option then I enter into the compatibility support module boot configuration here yeah, nothing need to be changed fast boot enable nothing to be changed here In this way I enter here here this this is not the advanced option I selected from the boot Compatibility support, compatibility CSM module. I first I enable the compatibility support module, then only I can able to change the CSM. Then only I can able to change the IO change or include the legacy boot options. Now we can see what it happen. I'm going to exit. save changes and reset here it will show what are the changes I have made 
launch CSM disabled, I change to enabled. Boot device control UEFI only, I change to UEFI and legacy optical ROM. Actually, I am click going to click OK. OK. Now we can see while booting up, we need to click F2 or delete key. It will show us a command line here. So it is not confusing. F2 or delete to enter the bio settings. I am clicking the F2. OK. Now we can see the UEFI and legacy options here. Earlier we can see only to the UEFI modules. Okay, let's see detail we can go inside here. Boot menu. Here we can see the two UEFI and three on hard disk is there, on another on hard disk is there and the DVD drive is there. This is the external storage devices okay so in this way we can change the or change or add the legacy boot to the asus asus type asus prime type motherboard this is the motherboard i have hope it is available it is applicable for all the asus type motherboard hope you have enjoyed the video if it seems useful please support as a subscribe like button thank you thanks a lot